Moving on from the Dewa hardware and the AirShield hardware, we're going to move on and talk about the DMSS app and the Duolink Care app and what are the differences between them. The main difference is Duolink Care is designed for installation companies and installation companies only. The DMSS app now is moving to be an end user app for arming and disarming the alarm, viewing your CCTV footage and other Dewa devices. But Duolink Care is how you manage it as an installation company. We'll show you now, this is the platform behind me. It's a cloud-based solution. So you just access it through a Google browser. You also have the ability to download the, du the Duolink app using the App Store and you can have this onto your phone. So it's a way of having all your uh, customers cloud managed and have access on the phone. It's also how you share your customers AirShield accounts to the DMSS users accounts. End user will be using their DMSS app to arm and disarm their alarm system. Regarding Duolink and any queries or questions on how the software performs, built into the software is also training videos how easy it is to configure on the web browser, how to configure up a DMSS account. These are all small little video clips on how to get the best out of your Duolink systems. To create a site in Duolink for the alarm, you go down to the bottom and click settings, and then you want to add a new site, top right, Add a site. With this, I will just call this Stevens Home. Oh. I click OK. In Duolink, I've now created Stevens Home. Now I wish to add a device to this. So I click on Stevens Home, click Add, and it will look to scan the alarm. And I'll just scan the device. Click Next. It will say the device name. So in this case, it will be Stephen Password System. And now the device has added to my Duolink Care device and it's pending for delivery. Using the Duolink software, I can now add a customer and add the alarm system to my Duolink account. Down the bottom is site. These are existing customers. I wish to add a new customer, so top right, add. I can add by QR code, but in this case, I'm just gonna add the site manually. And we'll call this Stevens Home. Click OK. So now that is a customer in my Duolink Care list, but I have not linked that to an alarm system or to any device. If I click onto that unit now, I wish to add in the alarm system. So I click Add Device. And at the back of the hub, I have a QR code. When I scan that QR code, it, that hub now is going to attach to this device. So again, I'm going to call this Stephen Home and then device password. And I click save. Now the alarm has been added into that customer's account on Duolink Care. But at the moment, it's pending delivery. So that means it hasn't been handed over to the customer just yet. In Duolink Care, we now have Stevens Home, which is created onto the account. And we have Stevens Home Alarm, which is now pending for delivery. Down the bottom, you have Workspace. So what this is, it gives you options on how to give the site to the customer's DMSS account. So you can have Deliver, which basically means I can type in the customer's email address they will get full permissions. The system is now their property and um, it will entrust the device to the particular customer. If I click back, you also have Lend. So this would be more along the lines of a monthly subscription. You're able to type in the email address, the customer's name and the lending period. So with the lending period, you can have long term, which would be indefinite and then custom. But again, if you were running a business model of you wanted to charge the customers monthly, you can lend the system to them for X amount of days. So I'm going to select Stephen's home. 
and then I'm going to basically type in an email address customer name I'm going to go and then I'm going to give that customer say 90 days I click OK I have read the terms of conditions next this also now gives me the ability to still configure the customer site um, remotely after handing it off uh, so you can see that and you can revoke at any time now i can lend the system to that customer so now that has gone off to diego's account and the customer will get an app notification so now refresh and now it's successfully lent that system